Okay. Hi guys. Um, it's January 29th, 2015, and it's been—I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Um, but I promise for the year of 2015, I will be on more regularly. Okay. So I'm here to do a Throwback Thursday empties video because today is January 29th, it's a Thursday and it just happened to be in the social media world, Throwback Thursdays. So this video is being called Throwback Thursdays Empties Video. And these are products that I've been using since November of 2014. And I've just piled up a lot of empty bottles and um, I'm gonna put a picture up and you will see exactly of everything that I'm gonna be talking about. So normally I keep my empties in this bag right here, this Chloe Beauty Supply bag. And yeah, it's been sitting, hanging on my laundry room door, as I said, since November of 2013. But now I am ready to put them in the trash. Time for them to go in the trash. I need to start collecting more empties, okay? So we're, I'm going to be breaking it up into two sections hair and body and the first section that i am going to be doing is body because i have them sitting right here on the table beside me and the first thing that i am going to be starting off with is my underarm this is sweet i there should be actually more of these but i only remember to actually save one and this is sweet honesty from avon and I actually like this. Um, when I buy from Avon, I usually buy these when they are 99 cents. And I buy them by the dozen. I buy 12 of these and these usually last me for an entire year. Because they last you about, about a month. Um, you use them twice a day, every day. You will go through them within a month especially if you use it more often than twice a day every day okay so these um, can't really say anything else much about them they smell fantastic they keep me my underarms smelling fantastic and yeah they're just really really good so that's the first one and I'm just putting them back in my Chloré bag um, because I have them piled on the table so if you hear the sound of banging on the floor that's just all I'm doing. Now the second empty that I have is this empty jar right here and for those of you that know me I have um, my business natural determined diva and i make hair and body products um that are chemical free and um this is just one of the body butter that i use i use it in my hair and i use it on my body as body lotion it is interesting this is what's good about this you can use it for more than one thing you can use it as a deep conditioner a body lotion and a hair moisturizer so this product i've actually used up three of them one two and number three i've used them up and here's one with my business logo on it natural determined deeper and what much can I say about them but they work it works and I use these as body lotion and let me tell you I have not bought another body lotion since I started making these in early 2014 I have not bought one body lotion since then and that has saved me so much money just from making these I have a 16 ounce shea butter that I have been using to make these and I've had it since 2014 and it's the same one that I've been using to make it and it works um, so I've saved money 
and the Shea Butter 16 ounce cost me six dollars and ninety five cents and with that I have made a ton of these and six dollars and ninety five cents has stretched very far well worth the price learn how to make these things yourself because you're gonna save yourself some money in the long run so that that's what I have to say about that now this is another thing that I make body butter that I make with the shea butter but I make these ones for my daughter and I also do sell these I also sell the other ones for $15 um, I will put more information down below on how you can um, get these products um, how you can order them from me okay but I make these as well but the only thing that is in these are in these ones this is the only one that has the label on it is the olive oil and coconut shea butter olive oil coconut oil shea butter and that's it and the reason why I only have these in these ingredients is because my daughter has um, eczema and I find that this is the only thing that works for her when I put this on her if I don't put this on her it doesn't work like it really does not work if I don't put this on her so this is the only thing that I use on her and yes I do sell these for ten dollars um, the other one is fifteen dollars um, just because it's a little more technique in how I make that one this one is just a whipped body butter that one is not wet. That one is melted and everything added into it that I put in it. And yeah, so once again, you have someone with eczema. Um, as long as they're not having a severe breakout, these will work wonders. Now the next thing I have is this Crest Mouth Rinse. And this is the one with the alcohol, it's alcohol free and it's the only one that I can actually use because for some reason my stomach gets upset whenever I drink alcohol and whenever I use anything that has alcohol in it in my stomach. It gets really upset with me and I'm in pain for a couple of days and I feel nauseated and everything so I always use the um, pressed alcohol free um, because I'm the only one using this it took me a really really long time to finish it but I have finally finished it um, a couple days ago and I'm already on another one that I bought way back in September of 2014 Alright, there's not much to say about it. I just only use it because it's alcohol free. Now, the next one I have is the Aveeno um, Body Wash. Um, I just picked this up because I've been hearing so much about it. Um, everyone, almost everyone on YouTube has been raving about this Aveeno Body Wash saying that it's really good, really moisturizing, it does it does what it claims. To be honest with you, I used it so long ago and I looked at it last night to try and see if I remembered what it felt like when I used it and I couldn't. So this for me, I guess it didn't... Um, work out as well as I thought it would because of all the claims that I was hearing about it. So I don't think that I will be buying this again. Um, I may buy it to try it out again because it was so long ago that I used it because as I said this video, these are things that I've been saving up from November 2014. But um, yeah, I don't, I honestly don't remember it on me at all. I don't remember using it. The only way that I know that I used it is because it was in the bag. If it was in, if it was, if I had accidentally thrown it in the garbage, I probably wouldn't have remembered having it ever at all. 
Um, so yeah, um, I probably only buy it just because I want to try and see if it does what it claims again on me, but it really didn't do anything for me. Um, but this one, mm, um, this is my favorite drugstore body wash to use, the Soft Soap brand. I love their brand. I love the lines of soft soap they have. There are two of them that I have that they have there that I do not like. And I've used them and I have never bought them ever again. And um one of them is the body scrub. Um the strawberry body scrub. I never liked it and I've never bought it again. But almost every other scent that they have come up with I have fallen in love with and I have liked it and this one is a coke the body butter coconut cream um, it uh, says it's a moisturizing body wash it was moisturizing I loved it the smell is amazing it it has a flowery fruity scent type thing yeah, it smells really, really good and really amazing, and as I will continue to purchase these. When I use this, it makes me feel like I am at a spa, especially after I've used a body scrub. And I actually have a sugar scrub to show you guys um, in a few. Um, but this is definitely another repurchase. I have some more in there that I'm using already, but once I run out of those, I will definitely be repurchasing this. The next one that I have is this Vagisil um, for the down there area, because um, I don't use body, regular body wash down there. Um, this is the Vagisil pH Balance Feminine Wash, and it says it helps support a healthy pH balance, gynecologist tested, light and fresh scent. Um, it did the job, but it didn't leave me feeling like hip hip hooray type of feeling. It really didn't leave that feeling. It did the job of cleaning it, but I felt like I had to use it more than once in order to feel the clean. Um, I am now using the Summer's Eve scent, Unscented Feminine Wash and that is a thousand times better than this one. So I did buy another one of this and I only bought it because I couldn't find the Summer's Eve one. But then I finally found it and I have been using the Summer's Eve and the Summer's Eve, I can tell you, I will continue to be using that one because it's just amazing. Now the next one I have is um, this one, the Nivea Soft and it is the Refreshingly Soft Cream. Um, as you can see, it's done. Anyhow, I use this on my face as a face cream. Um, even though I make my own body lotion and stuff, I don't use it on my body because of the oils that are in it. Um, for some reason, I, my, I have dry skin. I don't have oily skin, but for some reason when I use the lotion that I make on my face, it just... My face does not like it. It doesn't like the... My face doesn't like the feeling of those that lotion at all. So I used this Nivea Soft um, as my face cream and it took me a really long time to finish it because I've only been using it on my face cream. Uh, as a face cream. I have another one there that I'm using but it's not Nivea. And the only reason it's not Nivea is because I couldn't get to the store that I originally purchased this from. Um, once I'm able to get to that store to purchase it, it will probably be another year or so before I end up purchasing another one. Because these, 
these last a long time when you're using it just specifically for the face um, which of which I do use it only specifically for my face and that's it and the last one from the face and body line is the is this one um, I actually just, I was in Shoppers Drug Mart and I just bought this on a whim. Um, I want, I've seen it and uh, it looks, the name sold itself to me. The Vanilla Souffle Bath, Bath Retreat Vanilla Souffle. That's what sold itself to me and that's why I picked it up. Um, it was actually quite expensive. It was like $8.99. I'm like, that's expensive for this bath scrub. Um, and it is a sugar body scrub, but I'm going to tell you the price is well worth it for this. It's well worth it because I soap myself off, then I put this on, and I rinse it off almost immediately and I am telling you my body feels once again like I've been to a spa and I feel like I'm in heaven once I use this I I <laughs> I actually kind of rushed to finish it up last night there's still a little bit left in there, but there's not much there. Um, otherwise, it would not have em ended up on this video today. I wanted it to be on this video today because I know I'm not probably going to do another empties until maybe March or April, depending on how many things I have collected. Um, so I kind of finished it up last night and trust me my body still feels like I feel like I really 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 went to a spa to get a scrub down and a treatment and everything that's what this makes me feel so yes I will be running out to purchase it again um, I wasn't sure how much I would like it the first time because this is the first time I'm using this I wasn't sure how much I would like it but let me tell you I actually do love it and it's the best thing I've ever purchased so I will be going back to Shoppers Drug Mart to repurchase this one now on to hair so the first hair product that I have is this softies mango growth treatment and First of all, it smells really, really good. And the name actually speaks for itself, Softy. It makes my hair feel so soft. I put it on and it glides onto my hair like no trouble whatsoever. Um, and I actually have three of their other products here um, that's in my empties bag. Um, it smells really mango-y. It smells like mango. It is made from mango and it smells like mango. And it's just, yeah. Um, so this is definitely something that I have to go back to the hair store and purchase because it, I, I liked it. My hair liked it. I liked it. We're all good with it. So yes, I will be purchasing it. Um, and another two other softy products that I have to put in this video. The first one, the sec, this is also a mango butter, but this is just um, regular mango butter. This is not the growth treatment or anything, just regular mango butter. And same thing as the first one. My hair loved it, I loved it, we're all good. Now this one I actually just finished this week. Um, this is the Softy Shea Butter. Um, I loved it, but I didn't feel the same way as I did about the mango. And my hair was the same thing. It didn't feel the same way as with the mango treatment and the mango butter one. 
Um, so I don't know if I will be re replacing this one. I may go and buy the mango one again, but maybe not the shea butter one. Um, and I forgot to tell you, this one is the hair and scalp conditioner. You just put it on your hair and it makes your hair nice and soft and easy and manageable. And then the next one is that I have is this, which is the Softy Deep Conditioning Treatment um, with Cholesterol plus a Hoba Oil. Um, this is a 6 ounce, it was a small bottle and I only bought the small bottle because I wasn't sure how it was going to work. If it was going to penetrate my hair, if it was going to go down into the scalp and make it really nice and soft. It did the job, actually. It really did. My hair actually liked it. My hair really, really loved it and I really loved it. Um, I got three use, two and a half uses out of this because I have really thick hair and it takes a lot of product in order for it to get every strand of hair to be covered. So, um, so yeah, once again, I will, I won't, I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it, but I do like it and it did work and I'm happy that I finally got to use it. Okay? Um, so yeah. Okay. So the next empty that I have for you guys is the As I Am Leaving Conditioner. Um, what can I say about this? I actually did not like it. Um, and I will not be repurchasing this. This was uh, um, the trial pack. And I actually have a video um, about the six pack trial pack that I picked up at the beauty supply store um, way back in 2014. Um, but yeah, I did not like the leave-in conditioner at all. I love the coconut co-wash. I love their, all their other styling products. But the leave-in conditioner was a no-no for me. So this is one thing that I will not be repurchasing once again is this as I am leave-in conditioner. I actually had to mix it in order to get it to do the job. I had to mix it with my Cantu Shea Butter leave-in conditioner of which um, is I have an empty on here to show you that one as well and um, that's about the only leave-in conditioner that I have been using. Um, but this one I will not be repurchasing it because um, it just wasn't worth it. Okay, um, the next one that I have is the Shea Moisture, is this one, the Shea Moisture Purification Mask with Tea Tree Oil and Willow Bark Extract. It's for dry itchy scalp, of which I do have, um, and it helps with dandruff, eczema, and psoriasis. Um, so the, if you have those kind of scalp condition, it does help with that and it is sulfate free. Um, what can I say about it? I actually mix this with um, my bentonite clay and I won't do that again because um, you're actually not supposed to, from what I learned with doing that with this, you are not supposed to be mixing the two. You're supposed to do your bentonite clay wash first and then put this on. And I have done it that way and it has made a huge difference. So once again, I will not be mixing this with my bentonite clay anymore, but I will be using it by itself for what it's for, just as a regular straight up deep conditioner. So yes, I will be purchasing this um, again. Um, but right now I am in the midst of trying out all the other Shea Moisture purification mask line that they have um, and right now I am trying out the Jamaican black castor oil line and I will probably be doing a review on that very very soon okay so that's that about this one the next one that I have is the this one the echo custard it says it's alcohol free flex flexible hole and extreme conditioning 
and it's in the olive oil um olive oil flavor scent excuse me whatever you want to call that um this i didn't love it i didn't like it i didn't really care for it i had it so i used it and now it's done and i'm happy it's done um, I can get it out of the way and I will not be repurchasing it. Um, this product was a big old fail for me. Um, yeah, it, I didn't like it at all. The next one is the Triple Nutrition Fructi Garnier um, Conditioner. I just used this as a regular co-wash. Um, there was nothing really special about it. Um, so yeah, there's not much to say about it. it. Smells very nice though. Has kind of um a minty smell to it. That's about the only thing that I have to say about it. So more than likely, again, will not be repurchasing this one because there was nothing special about it. It didn't leave a long lasting whatever, and I just used it as a co-wash. That's it. So the next empty that I have, which is my Holy Grail, which I mentioned earlier, is my Cantu Leave-In Conditioner. Oh, let me tell you something. This baby right here is my Holy Grail of Leave-In Conditioners. I am, this is my third jar since I've discovered this product. This is the third one that I have emptied. Um, there's a little bit more in there. I have another one there that I'm using. I'm just going to scrape it out and add it to that bottle because I don't want the rest of that to go to waste. But this is a holy grail leave-in conditioner. Holy, holy, holy grail. What else can I say about it? it like My hair love it. I love it. And it's well worth the price of $6.99 that I paid for it. What can I tell you? It's cheap, it's affordable, and it works. Cantu Shea Butter. This, this works. This works. This is my holy grail of a product right here. I will not be switching up from this anytime soon. I'm going to leave it to the side to empty the empty the other the rest of the shea butter that I have out and the last one that I have is this one this is from Shea Moisture it's the Jamaican black castor oil from their Jamaican black castor oil line um, it's their strengthen grow and restore leave-in conditioner um, it was okay it wasn't 100%. It was not this. It was not. These two cannot compare. This one is my Holy Grail leave-in conditioner. This one, it wasn't all that. Let's just, it, it, it just wasn't all that. It wasn't there for me. Um... Yeah, I didn't like it as much as I love this one. I I like I really really love this one. I did not like this one as much at all. I like their original one, which is their restorative um conditioner. Um it's their from their shampoo and their conditioner line and that was the first conditioner that I started using and I used it as a leave-in conditioner. I didn't wash my hair with it or anything and I actually still have a bottle of that one there but I don't love this one as much as I loved the restorative conditioner line and I'm going to try and finish that one off and have it in another empties video for you maybe in the March empties um but yeah this one I will only repurchase it maybe later on in order to give it a try again to see if I end up liking it. But this go around I didn't like it at all and it finished pretty quick actually. 
um, it really really it was very lightweight it wasn't heavy at all and yeah it just wasn't what I was expecting out of it it really wasn't and I'm I'm being honest with you but this one for me is a definite repurchase um, it's my holy grail of leave-in conditioners and this is the one that I fell in love with and I will continue to use this one until something better comes out but I hope something better doesn't come out than this because this it's cheap it's affordable and it does the job that my hair needs so anyhow that's it guys um I thank you very much for watching please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe to my channel for more videos and more good stuff to come for the year of 2015. Um, and once again, I thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!